Hello everyone, I'm Coyote Jack, and well, look what we have here. They haven't learned their lesson yet, but it's a step because, let's face it, Microsoft is not in a good position after many fuck-ups with Xbox and Windows 11. But let's read this headline. Microsoft laid off a DEI team as his lead wrote an internal email blasting how DEI is no longer business critical. Well, since it started to crumb, they is crumbling all down. Yeah, that it is. They, they are realizing, yeah, we have to go on the verge of collapsing or on bankruptcy to actually start giving people what they want. Microsoft laid off a diversity, equity, and inclusion team citing changing businesses' needs. <laughs> the move follows commitments made by Microsoft and other tech, tech firms after the George Curvey protest. Or the I commitments remain unchanged. So they haven't actually do that. They are just rebranding themselves. Well, let's read this. After Microsoft laid off an internal team focused on the diversity, equity, and inclusion, a team leader blasted the company for a lack of investment in these efforts. Through system change, were associated with DEI programs everywhere are no longer business critical or smart as they were in 2020. A leader of the team wrote in an email sent to Thompson employees which was viewed by business design. The email says the team was eliminated because of changing business needs. As of July 1, it's unclear how many employees were affected. So, we have from this text, from this paragraph, that probably they are just trying to ditch all the DEI because it's just destroying the whole company from the inside. It's, it's cancer. So they want to push the cancer in stage four. So, and, but they don't want to be labeled as what they were promoting all this time. Imagine my shock. The team leader whose identity BI has confirmed did not come immediately respond to a request for comment. Many technology companies, including Microsoft, made commitments to improve diversity efforts after the 2020 George Floyd Curve by Minneapolis said, Yeah, we so the passing of overdose of George Saint Fentanyl Curve. In 2020, Microsoft pledged to double the numbers of black leaders within the company by 2025. The company's progress on this pledge is also unclear. Despite those commitments, many tech companies have appeared to retreat somehow from diversity efforts. Some lay off a DI focusing team early this year. Our top company is facing a lot of backlash and losing a lot of money. Bloomberg, of course, a uh, work website. Google and Meta also cut DI last year, according to CNBC. So they're realizing that they, Donald Trump is winning. If he will win the election despite what happened on Saturday, and they need to start sucking that dick to the right, to the, to the ones that did wrong, because, oh boy, the consequence culture they are endorsing, they, they keep endorsing it, they just going to bite them in the ass, if not already. But again, DEI is cancer. You don't want cancer in your body. Or the I commitments remain unchanged. A Microsoft spokesperson, Jeff Jones, said in a statement, our focus on diversity and inclusion is unwavering and we are holding fair on our expectations. That's a lot of fucking bullshit. Prioritizing accountability and continuing to focus on this work. Well, I, since you are saying this, I don't want to stick with you anymore. I already have what you offered me in the past. Microsoft typically makes cuts to its workforce uh, at about this time of year when its fiscal year rolls over. Later, layers of Microsoft and technological companies in general have become more common. The company announced plans last year to cut 10,000 employees within the first few months of 2023. It has conducted additional rounds of layoffs since then. 
Are you a Microsoft employee? Well, not, but well, there you have it. This one was shared by Grants, and I have to say, I agree with Erobot and here. It will quickly become ironic and sad if Japan companies like Kraftcon, Squinix, etc. still keep there. I hope, I hope they hear about this news and use their common sense. That's the key. They will do after the cancer is already in stage four. So I have to say, no, they haven't killed completely the AI because you have idiots that drank their own Kool-Aid and believe the bullshit and they are going to keep spreading that. I have to say this. Microsoft announced another Doom game and Gears of War Judgment 2. Yeah, I know it's EA, but come on, it's a ju Judgment continuation, but with what people like Marcus Phoenix, Dominic Santiago, and again, fighting to Locus. And they are so desperate that even I saw this one. So imagine my shock if this is true. I will believe it because they fuck up so much the Halo franchise. 340 industry has allegedly been downsized considerably. Upcoming Halo titles to be largely absorbed. They have ID software. They have Activision. There is no fucking excuse to just command them and make a Halo game with the stuff they want. Even the existing Halo base, uh, fan base that is still going on, they don't trust t 40 anymore. So, just to read this one quickly, Halo series developer t 40 Industries has allegedly been done since considerably, and upcoming Halo projects, projects will be largely to be absorbed. So, they mentioned this. This is a large screenshot. Let's see if we can actually make it big. Nope. But, well. We have this one here. Well, the structure and head out. Well, now nah, I'm not going to play that. So, let's stick, let's stick to this. So, who has shared information on health tattoos from reliable sources in the past? Crystal have spoken over to. 12 existing and former T40 industry employee in, is in order to learn about the current state of the studio. They are dog shit on future Halo projects based on what they learned. The Halo developer kept losing employees. They kept firing them because they, uh, they were fucking incompetent. Imagine the moment even going back to Halo Guardians. Do you remember when that fucking idiot that 340 Industries said that they were focusing the multiplayer for esports? Taking the fun of the uh, casual game? Go fuck yourself. So, and the studio leaning more heavily towards outsourcing content. Outsource the whole development. It's not the first time they will do that. In this period, internal employees were cut down from around 500 to less than 280, while 50 and 60 contractors were also let go. Even you have to pay attention to this Microsoft keeps doing these temporary employee contracts. It's expected, but at the same time, you have to realize that the 40 industries they are not trustworthy. The name itself gives people concern when it comes to Halo. So according to the source, for a coming Halo price, T40 will focus on the concept and pre-production basis, including lore checks. At this point, just not give them even lore. Microsoft, Microsoft, please. For fuck's sake, learn from your mistakes already. You can't trust them. You have other studios. You bought the test that you have fired this over. If they can make something decent like what the Doom games are, even for current day standards, 
you can actually give someone else to do the Lord for something that will people like. You have the flood, <laughs> or you you used to have that that fucking alien and the prayers or pray, uh, the vibes with you know the flood. How you fight a fucking parasite like that <laughs> from the space and you know how to turn into fucking horror game. Well, that means combat the boat. It was worth the days. But still, do not give them anything anymore. Just even if you be, you have to build a signal saying you sh they are going to just to supervise. That's okay. Don't give them anymore. But at this point, why I'm bothering? They are not going to listen. I know, I know they will learn. They will figure it out. But that's all I wanted to say here. So this is the whole situation with Microsoft. Well, let's see if they learn from this. That's all I wanted to say. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a pretty good day.